What's up Spartan? I'm Samir Bach, Pro Team Athlete, and I'm here today to show you a quick workout. We're going to do it in 12 minutes. Um, mainly body weight exercise that will occur no material at all. And you can do in your home or outside. So I'm here in my private gym. <laughs> I would love to. Um, to be loud and clear so you can hear my voice and my super English skills right now. Material that I will recommend if you have two towels or glides, that will do. Another towel or a piece of clothes for extra tension exercise and maybe a step, a chair, uh, or stairs in your house, not even possible for that. And I will need my personal assistant, my girlfriend, Jade, will be here today to demonstrate the exercise um, in the basic movement. I'm bringing her totally out of her comfort zone today with those exercises. So she will show you the basics and during that time I will maybe show you different uh, variables to engage maybe more. So we will start with a little warm up, so easily with some high knees or march, excellent. And as you can see I'm always speaking, so this is why she will do the movement so I can keep on talking, explaining different stuff about the exercise. So we will do um, the exercise in a Tabata circuit. So Tabata, it's 20 second intensity, 10 second rest. You can play with the time under tension or the duration when you will re reuse those exercises in uh, your everyday routine because those are really full body exercise. So that's it. We'll go now with some butt kicks. As you can see the hair, you know, a little haircut. But we are in quarantine, so no time for that. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. We'll go now. Feet, shoulder stance, and going to open. I call that one the crocodile mount. Engage your shoulder. Upper back. That's it. This is just a warm up, by the way. We haven't started the 20 second, 10 second so far. Excellent. And one of my fabric combination of movement. We'll go in push-up position for the exercise last of the warm-up. This is, I call it the greatest stretch in the world. We engage the scapula, we're gonna lift, oh, lift the left leg, bring it on the side of the left hand. We're gonna open the other arm, Jade. <laughs> open like that, breathe in, exhale, Bring your elbow to the ground, so hip opening, excellent. Going back on your hand, we can even go a little bit back right here to stretch the posterior chain. Going back in push-up position, bringing back the leg and switching side. So right leg, bring it to the right hand, excellent. Breathe in, open, exhale, elbow to the ground, harder than that side, same for me. Excellent. Hands on the ground. Bring back here. Excellent. And we'll walk back to our toes. Perfect. So, two little circuits of three exercises each. So, we will start with the first one. We'll mainly focus the anterior chain. So, Jay, we will start that in a push up position with a basic mountain climbers. All right? So, I will start the time 20 seconds in, 10 seconds off. Follow me, I will put it on my watch, it's already ready. So, number one, mountain climbers, and three, two, one, let's do this. So engage your shoulders, excellent, and bring the knees in the middle. A lot of different options for that exercise. We will go for four sets of every of the three exercises. So number one, and three, two, one, Excellent. We'll go now for a dead bug. So we're flipping on the back. Excellent. And we'll go down opposite side. So left leg, right arm. Engage your core. And here, main objective is to engage your abs and keep <laughs> <laughs> the lower back really uh, pushing against the ground. So opposite side. And we'll go for the last exercise. The inchworm, so get back up. So, 
In three, two, one. So we will watch. All the way to push up position. And inchworm, rotation, flight, accent, and we're walking back with the hands. And back down. Excellent. Twist. Twist. And back up. First set done. We're going to do this four times. So James already going to be ready to start back in mountain climber position. And let's go. Different possibility for the mountain climbers. What I love the most is the jump through. So bring your leg, kick forward without kicking your partner. Switch, kick. A little bit more <laughs> metabolic. Excellent. Since 20 seconds is really short. Excellent. After that, dead box. Excellent. This is why I bring a tissue or a towel. If you want to bring more engagement in your shoulder blades, bring a towel or a tissue that you will try to pull and rip apart while you're doing that motion with your arms and your leg, or you can even bring and keep the arms up there. Engage your core, and rest. 10 seconds, we're getting ready to go. <laughs> Inchworm, and we go. Twist, you can have a push up in the middle of it. And Set done. Keep on going, guys. Still have two more to do. So, back for mountain climbers. Let's go. Or kick through. So, there are plenty of other options that you can do in between. So, only jumping instead of kicking through. Excellent. Start feeling the, the heat going out, man. In three, two, one. Excellent. Dead box, so <laughs> opposite segment. Yeah, that's good. Try to remember to excel when you need the more engagement of your core to one. That's like rest. It's good. Jay is on the good timer. <laughs> Inchworm for the third set. Let's do this and walk. So all of those exercises, depending the intensity you put in, can be used as a good total workout or even as an activation. This is the way we're using it today for us before our outdoor training. Excellent. One last set. So we're going back to mountain climbers. 20 second dives. Hang on. Give some intensity. You should be warm by now. And just so you know, not all the workouts need to be deadly or ending um, as you are totally uh, exhausted, but keep the body flow. Excellent, dead body. Let's do this. So, as I say, excel in the whole process. Inhale up, exhale down. Three, two, one. Excellent. And last but not least, inchworm. So let's do this. And hi guys. That's it. Still five seconds. Rest while I'm resetting my watch. 
for the second block. Excellent. So, the three other exercises, we mainly focus on the anterior chain, so shoulder, uh, pecs, abs, hip flexors, really importantly, uh, as runners. Now, the three other exercises will be mainly for the posterior chain. So we'll start that with um, hip raise. So we're going on our back. I will set my timer again. Jay will demonstrate. <laughs> uh, circuit, excellent. Training. Excellent. Interval. So we're going back in three, two, one. Let's go for another 20 seconds. Here, we want to focus to push in your heels. Engage your hamstring, your glute. Keep the core tight so you be sure you don't um, rotate and engage and uh, put some pressure in your lower back for three, two, one. Excellent. We're going to flip on the belly and go for a Superman row. Like this. So we just hover and we row. Keep the head neutral, so keep uh, facing the ground. <laughs> So you keep the, the vertebrae of the, of the neck in a neutral position. Engage your upper back. That's it. And last one but not least, we're going for the position down dog or plank push up. Pushing your arms. And we'll go for it. Extension. Leg extension here. Excellent. So go get some power in your hands by pushing your shoulder. Two, one, excellent. Getting warmer. All right, we're going for three more sets of that. So on your back, <laughs> if raised, if you have your towel or your glides, you can use them. Let's go. I love to use them to do some Flexion extension or leg curls. Three, two, one. Excellent. Stay down. Or on the belly now. Excellent. Superman row. Excellent. And here, a lot of different possibilities. You can do the swimmer. A little more. Motion the shoulder going, but the main goal is to keep the upper body, the upper back engaged here. Don't put too much tension in the lower back. Excellent. And we're going back for the height. If you have a chair at home, increase the the difficulty. You can go really the opposite. And your hip extension. done, two sets to go. So I'm going to go again on your back. Excellent. And here, if you want to have a more posterior chain engagement, push with your arms on the ground. So, yeah. Engage your scapula. Excellent. Now we can even alternate legs. Three, two, one. Back on the, on the floor. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We've got still have three seconds left. <laughs> Two, one, let's go. Squeeze your scapula. And if you feel like you're having too much tension in the lower back, you can lower down a little bit the leg. If you want something more than that, all in, you can go doing that posture, but we some donkey kicks. One more. 
one set, and we're done for that crazy warm up. <laughs> Going back. If you don't have glides or towels, as I say, you can go one leg. Three, two, one. Excellent. Time for the last. Superman pose. Get ready. 20 seconds. Let's go. some higher intensity into it by adding some speed or um, different tools to help you get more muscle tension, uh, muscle contraction. So on that everyone, have a great day and keep on moving. Let's be unbreakable.